Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mike. You can call me Mike. <laughs> Today I have an unboxing. This is a package that was sent to me from Gideon, from Gideon Stuff. I'll leave a link to Gideon Stuff, his YouTube channel and his Instagram channel, in the description of this video. It was sent to me from him through Corey <laughs> from Stafford's EDC. I'll leave a link to his YouTube and Instagram as well in the description. So through Corey, Gideon sent me these knives. These are a couple knives I had lent to him and I think he threw in another one. And he also said there's a letter in here that I promised I would read on camera. He made me promise to read it. <laughs> I'm filming outside. I was going to film directly outside uh, in honor of Gideon. But it's very windy, so I didn't think you'd be able to hear me. I don't have any microphones or anything. So I don't know how well the audio will be in here. I'm just in my little shed. But uh, we'll see how it works out. So I'm excited to read this, <laughs> read this letter from Gideon. I can only imagine <laughs> what uh, what it says. <laughs> so I open this upside down for no particular reason. I got some knives here. I'll just set these over here. Oh, for now, shelves they come in handy. Okay. That's really nice. Freaky's good at drawing. He's good at drawing. <laughs> He's quite the artiste. That's really cool. I don't know what kind of uh, I don't know what kind of dinosaur this is. I should know because I've seen it on his channel before. But that's really cool. I am definitely putting that up in my knife cabinet. And yes. Mike, read on camera. Okay, <laughs> here we go. <sighs> okay. Hey everybody, welcome to Gideon Stuff. And your channel is now mine. Channel jacking successful. <laughs> In all seriousness, here's your knives back finally. Thanks for letting me take a look at them. I think you'll enjoy them. I threw in a few extras as well, a special knife that I'm a huge fan of, a drawing of Albertosaurus sar sarcophagus. Sarcophag sarcophagus. Okay, the first Canadian dinosaur that popped into my head. Albertosaurus, ah yeah, represent. <laughs> and a fossil brachiopod I collected from the per Permian Age. Hmm. Abo formation, one of the richest Permian layers in the world. Consider them a peace offering to end our rivalry. <laughs> and also, thank you for being a great guy. Adios, Gideon. Aw, thanks, Gideon. <laughs> so, this is the knife he sent me here. Is this the, uh, what one is this? They don't put the names on here. It's the J1920PW. Um, let's see here. Which one? Is, is it the Scoria? Let's see, it's, uh, oh, don't lose those out in the shed. Don't want to lose the bearings. Oh, man. It's, uh, see, the blade's taped up for safety. I think it's the Scoria. Look at the, the the wood. Is this uh, Coco Bolo? Not sure. I'm not sure. But this is sick. I can't wait to put this together. I think this is a Scoria. I think so. That's awesome. Thanks, Gideon. I actually wanted one of these. If this is the Scoria. If it's not the Scoria, I've seen these, whatever they are, and I have wanted one. So that's awesome. Thanks, Gideon. Don't want to scratch anything up too bad. 
of that there. Do not lose. It would suck to lose the uh, bearings out in the shed. Put these back in here. Get this. Put that there. Now this. These, this knife will be a part as well. But this is. Oh yes. Okay, I thought this. I've seen this on his. Uh, uh, channel. <laughs> so this is, I gotta get the name again. The wind is blowing. I hope it doesn't knock my camera over. You know I'm inside. This is Brachiopod. 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 This is a Brachiopod. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's just using my front facing camera so that Picture quality is not great. I'll take some better pictures of it a little more close up for you guys because this is not. Oh, maybe it just focus on it, will it? I don't know. Anyways, you kind of see it. Very cool. Thanks, Gideon. This is neat. So I'll set this here. Don't fall. So this is the Ahab. More wood. <laughs> this is the handle for the Ahab. This is the blade for the Ahab. When you live in Canada, you need to have things taken apart. Knives taken apart. Not just everything. Knives in particular. Taken apart because they'll get taken at the border. Because Canada sucks. So, uh, yeah. Picture this without the blue tape. And Ahab. I'll have uh, first impressions of this. I may do a separate video for first impressions because this is already at seven minutes and I'm trying to keep my videos shorter for no real reason. Let's put that there, make sure I put those there, put that there, put that in here. So that's the Ahab and this one, this will be together because this is a fixed blade and Canada hasn't lost their mind about fixed blades yet. I'm trying to find the camera where it is, there it is, hello. So it slides off the sleeve. There we go. Oh, it's a bit smaller than I was expecting. Oh, it's a bit smaller. Oh. That's nice looking though. I like that. This is the uh, Pyrolite. Pyrolite? No, not the Pyrolite. Hyperlite. The Hyperlite. Hyperlight. CJRB Hyperlite. It's a bit thinner than I was expecting it to be in the handle. Oh, holy crap, that is a thin fixed blade. I like it though. It's thin. It's hyper light. <laughs> and it's, but it's thin. I'm sure it's slicey AF. And he, Gideon put a little, a little sharpening trial in there for me because this did not have one. And uh, it definitely, where's the camera? Right there. It definitely needed one. So, yeah. I'm glad he put it. Thanks, Gideon, for putting that in there. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's nice, I like it, I like it. I, I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. I'm not a huge fixed blade guy. Uh, I haven't shown you guys my custom fixed blade yet. What the heck? But now that I have this, um, I think I have, yeah, there's no other fixed blades coming, so I should do a fixed blade video for you guys. But yeah, very cool. And this comes in like a little, little Kydex uh, sheath. And, uh, it comes with um, this and and uh, this it's um there we go nice little necklace for you it's very cool very fashionable <laughs> this would not be something I would consider to be a neck knife and this might not be even be something to go around your neck I don't know uh, but anyway that was wonderful uh, so that's that those are my knives. That's my fossil. I have an actual fossil now. And I have an awesome drawing that I'm very excited to get set up in my man cave. Thank you again, Gideon. Thanks again, Corey, for being an awesome proxy. Thanks again, Gideon, for being you. <laughs> and uh, for all the extra goodies you threw in. Really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching.
Thanks again to Gideon and Corey. Take care.